don't even start out um, halter breaking them to walk. We just start in driving them. Um, you'll inevitably you will break them to lead with a rope at the same time when you when you're breaking them. Um, we typically do start out with a rope halter. She has a little red horn tie on this heifer right now that um, is just an emergency brake. So it's eight inches from the distance between the two um, sides here of the bow. So from here to here, it's close to eight inches and that fits around their neck. And proportionally as that, the, as the width between those gets bigger, the yoke will naturally get bigger as well? The yoke will get bigger, yeah, because when you have a, a bigger animal doing bigger things, I guess, they're pulling more weight, they're, they're growing in, in, in their neck size, adding more muscle. You want the, the yoke to be a little bit more hefty as they get older to withstand their pulling and straining on it. all the animals are, but the Devon breed is smarter than people think, in my opinion. What am I looking for to improve my herd? Uh, for myself, when I went from straight line breeding and I wanted it outcross, I was looking for a taller animal. I wanted to basically step up my animals. They were much of the old, I'm going to use the word old-fashioned Devon, relatively short, relatively squat. I'm um, dealing with oxen, and I wanted six to ten inches in height coming out. So I went purposely looking for a bull that had and would throw the offspring for a taller animal. Uh, Grant and Garfield, Three Eagles Grant, Three Eagles Garfield. They're in a 10 inch yoke and uh, they are eight years old, so they should be at the end of their growth period. They're about 2,000 pounds uh, each, 2,020 is what they registered on the scale. Um, if you so they are very friendly, as I say, all these oxen were born here as bull calves. We uh, castrated them at about six months of age, but we worked with them basically what I call the 4-H version. We had them in halters at, at like two weeks old. We were tying them up from four weeks old so they'd stand. They get very comfortable being, being in a halter. And then we put a yoke on them at four weeks old, and we have a bigger yoke at eight weeks. It's a five inch. And usually by the end of the first year, they're into a six inch yoke. Uh, so this is our older pair that he's bringing out, uh, Dandy and David. They are 11 years old now, and uh, they actually weigh about 2,400 pounds apiece. You know, they're big frame cows. They'll give, uh, their offspring will make great oxen. Look at the back leg on her. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the hope She's a him. little cow hock, but she's got a big, strong back leg that you want to have for oxen. You know, that's going to give them the power to pull. Yeah. Big, deep chest, nice dark color, good horn set. Mm -hmm. 